Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Chapter 2 Finale. Uh, first things first, since last time I created five more rogues, and then killed all ten of my rogues to get 15 deceased kills, which with 700 HP, 300 SP, and 15 allies uh, revived at the hospital, we get the Dark Rosary emblem there, and I gave that to Laharl there. Uh, got it with Arms Masters, Gladiators, just a nice little bonus there. Broker actually in increases the money you get when you kill an enemy a little bit, so that helps. And let's see, I also got the Dark Orb along the way. Uh, you get that after restoring, I think, 500 SP from the hospital, so we got that, again, with Arms Masters. I'm just giving them to Etna just because I don't really care to give them to anyone, but oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, we got amulets on my warrior, glasses on the scout. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're all set and ready to go. So let's take on Flan. Put an end to her nefarious ways. White Death. You can't escape. I'm proud to say that I am the most persistent demon in all the netherworld. Got her trapped now. Is that so? Wow, that's really something. <laughs> She just sounds sarcastic there. Are you trying to make a fool of me? You insolent fool! No, I think that's the way she is. Or that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little. Oh yeah, come on. I'll have to use the item the Seraph gave me, so I can only do it once. Oh, oh, you... you Are you I, ready? I thought you were talking Here about something I go. else. Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. How bad could it possibly be? Dorian Dragon Dranago! Dragon, come forth! Nuts. It's time for inappropriately epic theme music! Chris, we have to fight this? We don't have much choice, do we? I hope you like inappropriately placed music viewers, because this game's chock full of it. In the final battle against Angel Trainee Fawn herself. Okay, first things first. You notice we got a whole bunch of these guys who can do Hell Pepper on us. So, first thing we want to do is send out Laharl alone. Let's Blade Rush two of these guys. Ha! There we go. Now, I don't want anyone else to come out from on the base panel in the first round. I want pretty much them all to ambush Laharl there. And because Laharl has all three of those emblems on him, he should be able to survive. And these guys will kind of hit themselves a little bit, too. Yeah, you see, they already killed one of their own guys there. So with all those emblems on Laharl, he should be able to survive. There, you see? I mean, he'll get poisoned, but he'll be fine. And then we can just clean up the leftovers rather easily. Let's blade Rush these three now. Or you can use uh, Blaze Knuckle, or Blazing Knuckle. Whatever it's called. I haven't even used that thing yet. What is it? Uh, Blazing Knuckle. Okay, there we go. So, now let's take out the rest of these losers. Uh, let's see. Let's... Hmm. Let's see. You probably have the least survivability. But I do want you to get a kill. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put you right there, and hopefully that dragon won't come after you. Launch them into the air. Yeah! All right. Let's see. Uh, let's have Etna go over here, take my brawler, and throw her a little forward so that way she can kill the... Actually, you know what? Let's move you over there. There we go. Might as well use Tiger Charge. Why not? One thing to keep in mind is that after the final battle of every chapter, you automatically get healed up uh, to max. So you don't have to worry about uh, hospital costs, which is, I guess, both good and bad. I and mean, You kind of want to build it up a bit, but let's finish off that last one. And as long as the dragon doesn't kill anyone, I should be fine. Okay, you face those directions. Okay. We should be good. Even if the dragon goes after Laharl, it's good. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, and don't worry about Flan. She's basically a pure healer. So, uh, yeah, she's got a staff. Whack you upside the head. Power of Love is just a healing spell. So, yeah, nothing that I'm really concerned about. 
at all. Uh, ooh, I got a little trick here. Going to the base panel. Haha! -ha! There we go. Okay, so let's get you Hurricane Skull Splitter. Let's see. I think you should be able to do a rapid fire, and that should kill the guy. Now, with bosses, I have no problem using combos because they have so much HP, I'm almost certainly going to get something out of it. You see where it says special hit plus one? That means you're going to deal a little extra damage because I'm having three people or multiple people attack the same enemy at once. Aw, oh, come on! I almost had the guy. Okay, uh, who do I want to get to kill there? Yeah, you could use a little more help there. And as a matter of fact, let's have you Skylunge Flan there. There we go. And you can finish off that dragon there, and then we should be in pretty good shape. So yeah, this battle, last one, not so bad. I mean, if you got the uh, emblems and you got Laharl taking the beating there, he's kind of tanking there, it's not that hard after all. Well, you defeated my dragon! You don't even need to, like, level grind or anything. <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the Great Laharl. Uh, you're not. Uh, excuse me, but... Technically, wouldn't Laharl be King Krachevskoy now? Why would I want to assassinate you? Huh? I mean, his last I name is Krachevskoy, I would think. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord, King Krachevskoy. Well, that would be Laharl now, wouldn't it? You're here to kill my old man? Your old man? That means you're the king's son? Not anymore. Doesn't anyone in Celestia read the newspaper? You came all the way from Celestia for nothing. My old man died two years ago. Huh. Well, that's weird. Wonder why the Seraph would have sent Flan to, uh... I'm sorry. Kill him if he was already dead. Maybe he was just misinformed. Uh, hey! Why are you crying? Uh-oh, sad music. Your father passed away, right? Serious music. You'll never see him again. When I think about that, it makes me sad. <laughs> I love the overacting in this game. Huh? Are you crazy? You came here to assassinate him, right? Why should you be sad? Are you not sad? Me? I don't have that emotion. I'm king now. I'm going to That's be. That's not true. When you lose someone or something important to you, you cry, don't you? Your heart aches, doesn't it? I'm a freaking demon. <laughs> I don't understand a word you're saying. How come? How come? Because I'm a demon, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Demons don't know sadness? E exactly. I've never experienced such an emotion in my entire life. Yeah, I'm a badass freaking overlord. If that's true, then does that mean demons don't know love either? Wait a minute, that's that's another game. Sadness is only possible because of love. You're right. Demons have no love either. That's that's just too sad. Oh, she sounds just like my mother. How stupid. Love. What good is it? What's the I wonder point if that was the person uh, Seraph was talking to. Love is the reason Mother is dead. Oh, or not? I don't believe. I'll never believe in love. Nope. Never gonna believe. If demons really don't know love, then it's my duty as a Celestian to explore the matter. What? I was ordered to assassinate the Overlord, but this must be a sign from the heavens. I think you're misinterpreting, Flan. No. Whether demons are pure evil or not, if they really no. don't feel love, I will bear witness to the truth. Don't do this to me, What's game. What's love good for? I don't need it. What's love got to do with it? Demons like me don't need that kind of crap. Absolutely. If that is true, then demons are a real threat to Celestia. Since I can't complete my mission, I have decided that my new goal is to learn the true nature of demons. They're evil. I must know for certain whether or not demons are capable of love. And if necessary, I will carry out my original...
original mission with a new target. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Fawn? <laughs> Fawn? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love this laugh. Alright, be my guest. I shall burn a true vision of horror into that empty head of yours. Yay, happy music. And more party members with Flan in our party now. <sighs> Prince, what are you doing recruiting an assassin? And an angel with that? She could be useful. But this might avert his attention from me. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hmm. I wonder what Etna's planning. I mean, if she was trying to kill me, she probably would have done it by now. Hmm. I like these little previews, too. <laughs> At long last, the nefarious Angel Flan seems to have forsaken her evil ways. N nefarious Angel? But can an old dog learn new tricks? Flan suddenly reverts to Killing Machine, slaughtering a crowd of innocent demons! With what? <laughs> killing Machine? Kindness? Finally, she transforms into a space monster. Optimism? Could this be the end of the netherworld? Space monster? Flanzilla? All right, it's no, time for no, me that's to another. Transform. I think. Next on Space Detective Etna, Episode 3, Etna versus Space Monster. I haven't actually Flan. played the other Disgaea oh, games. The netherworld at any cost. I think there's she gets I, I think there's an attack called Flanzilla as a reference Too to bad. her. Something? I don't know. But, uh, no, I think we'll just, uh, move on from here. I'm vaguely aware of the next few games in the Sally. series, but I don't really know. I haven't played them, so I don't know. Yep. But Today I'm interested. the Pretty Spot's payday. I get that part. Now, explain to me why I have to pay your vassal's salary. Well, she's a vassal. My vassals are your vassals, right? Well, then it's only natural that you sign their paychecks. Ugh, I can't argue with that. Fine, but it's not coming out of my pocket. Huh? I thought you had plenty of money. Well, I am going to be my the overlord. Allowance. No one's touching it. <laughs> Stingy. How old are you if you still have an allowance? Shut up. So who's the richest guy around here? We'll just loot his place. Is he always like this? Yeah, yep. pretty much. Always. Never met anybody like that in Celestia. I'd be amazed if you did. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. Why well, I left? You then. won't last long in the Netherworld if something like this surprises you. Ooh, this is such a culture shock to me. Hmm. I wonder why no one in Celestia seems to know anything about the Netherworld. Episode three: hmm. A Hint of Kindness. The guy in charge didn't know. That Volcanus guy didn't know. Flan doesn't know anything. What's going on here? Yeah, we'll learn more about that later. Pleased to meet you. I was just an assassin, but uh, not anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Every time you go into a new chapter, you uh, get new dialogue from these guys. That would explain why they don't, uh, why they don't know anything about us, but, hmm. That's strange. Yeah, that's pretty much the way it goes. Well, we kind of make the rules since we're in charge, you know. Yep. Well, it's raining angels. It's like raining men, except less or more death. Oh yeah, we're going to be learning about the item world in this chapter, so uh, I will be uh, going over that in a lot of detail in the upcoming episodes. So it's going to take a little while to uh, get through all that stuff, but uh, well, I'll do the best I can. I'll be using it somewhat, but not to uh, Prince, I'm, uh, too going much to the excess. Bathroom, okay? And now that we're in a new chapter, let's read another entry in Etna's diary there.
Huh. I wonder how the king died anyway. That's eh, probably not important. That I wouldn't worry about it. But how do we level up healers in this game like Flan if they don't have any offensive capabilities? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!